Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. I've um, been getting a lot of emails and phone calls and a lot of general questions and Facebook messages coming over about transducers on the Lowrance products. So I figured it'd be appropriate for us to do a video on different transducers and what each transducer does when it comes to relating to bass fishing. So here's our video on that. And I'm going to start with the skimmer transducer or 83 by 200 frequency transducer, also known as the HST WSBL. And again, skimmer transducer. This can be mounted exterior on the boat or can be mounted to shoot through the hole. Now, this transducer will only do traditional 2D sonar. Now, that does also include, include chirp if you have a unit that's capable of utilizing chirp or running chirp. But again, traditional 2D sonar that we've been used to for a long, long time, it will not do anything else. So do not confuse this with some of the other transducers that we're gonna go over here in a few moments. So again, very basic, 83200. Next is the HDI transducer. Now, this transducer really became known with the hook series of Lowrance products. Now, this transducer will do your traditional 2D sonar and your down imaging. And the cool thing I like about this transducer is you can buy the transducer adapter for your trolling motor and put this on your trolling motor. Utilize this with a Gen 2 touch unit or a Gen 3 touch unit or the latest carbon series units. And this will give you down imaging and 2D sonar directly off your trolling motor. So again, hook series transducer. This is the HDI which operates 83 by 200 and 455 by 800. The 455 by 800 is what's gonna give you that down imaging. Now, the next transducer has been called a bunch of different things. This is the LSS2 transducer, also known as the Structure Scan HD transducer, your Structure Scan transducer, your side and down imaging transducer. This transducer will only give you side imaging and down imaging. This will not give you 3D, even if you have a 3D module. It does not do 2D sonar. So if you're looking for what used to be traditionally called the bundle, this would give you the 83 by 200 that plugs into your sonar port on the back of your HDS unit. This one plugs into your structure scan port on the back of your HDS unit. This is what gives you your 2D sonar, and this is what gives you your structure scan, also known as side imaging and down imaging. Now, the next transducer I'm going to talk about is basically a combination of that last two I went over. This is called the total scan transducer. Now, this transducer is basically Lawrence's way of trying to have an all-in-one transducer to compete with the Hummingbird models. This provides you with your 83 by 200 2D traditional sonar, chirp sonar, in the same regard as long as your unit is capable of chirp, and your side and down imaging. So this is an all-in-one transducer. Has a lot of great applications out there. I don't necessarily like this for a bass boat style application, only from the aspect of this is a honking transducer. And you got to have this thing mounted so low on your transom of your boat, which is usually very difficult to do on a bass boat with all the curves and the setbacks and the pads. But for this to read your traditional 2D sonar while running down the lake, this has to be mounted so low that it's very easily susceptible to getting knocked off from rocks, trees, stumps, branches, anything that's in the water that could damage it. It's going to be a lot more susceptible to that. So again, total scan transducer, pre-packaged with the Elite Series units, can use this with the HDS units also. 2D sonar, side imaging, and down imaging. Again, this transducer cannot do 3D at all. We get a lot of customers that think if they buy the 3D module and have a total scan transducer, they'll have 3D images. Not true. And our last transducer to go over is the 3D transducer. Now, this has two ports, two plugs in. It has to utilize the module to be able to get 3D images. You cannot plug this directly into a Gen 3 or even a carbon unit. We're gonna have a video on the carbon units out shortly. So keep this in mind, everyone. 
does not do 2D sonar, so you would still need the 83 by 200 either to shoot through the hole or mount it on the transom. This one does 3D images, side imaging, and down imaging. Now, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you on this. I think the 3D images on this, I don't like them, I think they suck. Sorry, Lawrence, is what it is. I'm telling everybody how it is. Now, that being said, the side imaging and down imaging images utilizing this with the module are extremely impressive. I think they're night and day better than the LSS2 transducer and the total scan transducer. Now, is it worth another $700 more than what a total scan or LSS2 transducer cost? That's gonna be up to you. If you spend a ton of time on the water, you wanna see some very good stuff, side imaging wise and down imaging, particularly really shallow water is where this thing shines with side imaging. It's very, very impressive. So for somebody that's maybe on the fence, you'll probably go with the LSS2 transducer, that's fine. Somebody that's really die hard, that spends a lot of time on the water in their boat, side imaging, particularly in shallow water, and I say shallow water, 10, 15 feet and shallower, this is gonna be a great combination for you. Not so much on the 3D stuff. So again, sorry, Lawrence, but just being brutally honest with everyone. So anyway, guys, we have all these products on our website. Be sure to check them out, russellmarineproducts.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message us on Facebook, send us an email, or always give us a shout on the phone. Thanks, everyone.